is Sean from Furry Critter Salon. And this golden boy is Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie is a 16 year old Bichon. He's 16 years old, but going on 16 months. He's a very good boy. He's very good with his grooms. He does have a lot of leg issues, a lot of arthritic problems. So I'll be showing you today how to groom a senior citizen pup. doing a nail trim on Charlie first while he's laying down nice and comfortable. With dogs that have arthritic issues, I just let them lay down first and do their nails. That way they're more comfortable. Okay, and I'll be using the, the drum roll, the grinder on him. I don't know if you notice, but Charlie's back nails, because his back legs are the worst and how he walks, his nails kind of shift inward, because that's just how he walks on them. So that's another reason why I like to use the, the germ roll, to try to even that out as much as I can, so it can be more comfortable for him. Charlie's ears are usually pretty dirty and waxy. Let's get a close up here. So usually the right ear is worse than the left ear. Left ear is not as dirty as that one. So I'll be cleaning them uh, with this NutriVet ear clean cleanse. Yeah, NutriVet ear cleanse. 
So I'll be flushing out his ears. I did that last time. I thought maybe he, uh, the ears wanted to be so waxy, but um, I guess just with his age, they're just gonna get more waxy, but it's okay. We'll clean it out, right, Charlie? The good news is it's not as waxy on the inside, it was more on the outside. Usually when I clean his ears, they're super waxy on the inside and I have to use like, I don't know, probably tan cotton balls to clean the inside of that ear canal. But you know, it's not too bad today, which that's good. So usually I do all this uh, for the pre-bath, I clean his ears, I do his nails, and then next I will be cleaning out his eyes and then we'll do the bath. ear is a lot cleaner now so I had to use a lot less cotton balls today so that's good that's progress so now I'm gonna be uh, shaving out the eye boogies usually I just like to take a clipper and just try to get the eye boogies off I don't like to pull them that's just gonna be more problematic cause some scarring and I don't want to you know do that to him so I'm just gonna take the clippers and just go around here and get them off Eye boogie right here is really stubborn so cut the majority so now I'm just gonna try to get it up this cone here there we go easy peasy the little bits I'll get that off with the shampoo that will come off easily but when they're stuck to the eye like that it's just best to trust try to shave shave them off instead of you know pulling them No. 
now it's time for Charlie's bath. I am going to use a, a graminated shampoo on them. Get all the dirt out. Okay, and let's get started. blow drying for a moment here so the nails that I was talking about earlier you can really see when he's standing up how much they're curled in and that's just how he walks because of his legs so usually when dogs have um, bad leg problems uh, they walk kind of in a weird way that causes their nails to curl in like that um, not much you can really do about that. You know, I just, you know, I grind them down. That way, you know, they won't be sharp where they won't go into his paw pads when he's walking so it won't cut them. Okay, so I'm just going to resume the blow drying process. So the blow drying is all done. So now I'm going to give Charlie his haircut. Um, because of Charlie's age, and sometimes he can get stressed out with these grooms, I kind of go quick with the haircut. It's not gonna be anything, you know, too fancy. Um, it's more for his comfort. It's all about the, you know, the comfort and their health. That's what I'm more concerned about. And uh, Charlie's dad is okay with that. So usually I do like a short trimmed. Uh, his dad likes it kind of short, but not short with showing the skin. But uh, I will be using an attachment comb. I'll be using a, a two attached on a 30. And uh, this is for Andis. Even with the two, it's still gonna show some pink of his skin because he is a Bichon. You're gonna show some pink, but um, his dad's okay with that. As long as he's not shaved down with the seven or so, we're good. Okay, and um, he's, he has these uh, brown specks here. That's from his moles. So um, it usually doesn't come out with the bath. Sometimes I have to probably poke him out or leave him be. I don't wanna cause more harm and open up those, those scabs from the moles. Okay, well, we're gonna get started with this haircut. Usually with this uh, with this type of breed, I like to brush them out first before I do the haircut. That way, they're even extra more fluffy, and that way they have any um, mats or anything which he has some his ears. That way, the clippers can go through it easy. Usually Charlie doesn't really get much or any matting. This is the first time he had matting behind his ears. So 
I do have Charlie on a hip harness here. That way you can help him out to assist him when he's standing. So when he, so I, I really can't lift up his legs too much because he will really be off balance even with the hip harness. He will just, as you saw, move back and forth. And that's why I try not to move his legs as much. Because that can be dangerous when I do the scissor cutting. And even notice I really won't try to lift up his, his legs as much so it can be, you know, more on balance. What are you doing here, Charlie? hidden treasure. He has a piece of tape on his tail. How'd you get that on there, Charlie? Were you wrapping a present? starting to get a little restless so I need to try to finish up here quickly working with uh, senior dogs can be kind of stressful just because they get stressed out you know, they, you know they're kind of limited and I don't want anything to happen to them when they're on the table so I try to Get them done as quick as possible so they can go back home, be happy, and then just relax. is almost done I just need to uh, shake his head and his ears and he will be all set does not have that big poofy Bichon round head so I'm just shaping it up to match his body I'll be sort of doing a round head but it just won't be poofy his head wasn't ever like that I've been doing Charlie for almost a year now Like 
I said this groom is not for, I guess, for to show. Even though I try to make my dogs look like they're gonna go in the show ring. But this is all for just his comfort. So he's comfortable. Don't want him to be in here too long. cut is just for his comfort. He still looks good and handsome to me. Hey there, my charm. Heavy panting is not because he's hot, he's you know getting anxious. But we're almost done. Just a little anxious, not too bad. Charlie after his groom. Hope you enjoyed my take on how I do senior citizen pups. So it's all about patience and just making them comfortable. So until next time, have a barking good day.